you're back. You are back, baby. Don't just stand there. Come on in. Welcome back again to the show, folks. The show. We're going to finish this Esteban guitar up today. I got brand new uh, Polyweb Elixirs here. He sent these with this guitar, and they're 13 to 56. Now, I wouldn't recommend going that heavy of a string on this guitar. As soft as it is, you know, the wood is really soft in this thing. I talked about it in other videos, lower end guitars. A lot of times, uh, you got them strung up perfectly in tune, and you break one string, the other five goes completely out, sharp. And it pretty much doesn't matter which string you break. If you just break one, the whole entire guitar goes completely out of tune. And that's a common thing with the lower end guitars. It's one of the things that you get for, get, pay for in higher end guitars. You know, you, normally, usually, higher end guitars you break a string and the other five will stay right in tune. Nothing will move. Not like uh, this one's not like that. This one is soft. Anyways, before we put strings on it, all I gotta do is put strings on, check the setup, and you know, to make sure it stays close to where it was before. Now I set it up with lighter strings than this. Twelve to fifty-four is what those was. It's thirteen to fifty-six, so I may have to adjust the truss a little bit more. But before we put strings on, I'm gonna bring you over here. I told you I told some of you that I would show you what this contraption uh, bridge doctor looks like. In fact, I'll go ahead and put a mirror in there right now if I can get it in there around the doctor. Yeah. And I'll uh, get the camera and try to get a light, some light back in there and show you what this thing looks like inside. Hold on. Oh, this is tough, man. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there's the uh, bridge doctor head. You can see it reflecting in the mirror. And I think you can see the dowel pin or the truss coming from it going all the way back there to the tail block and that's all there is to it like I say it's got a screw that comes down through the bridge into that block you see there with the screw in it I've got her cranked in there pretty good it's tight but it sure took that belly out hopefully you can see that okay that's the best I can get light on it I think if you look into the mirror though you can see Slightly see the dowel a little bit. Maybe I. Yeah, that's the best I can get the light in there. Hopefully, you can see that though and uh, understand how it works. It's easier to see it in the mirror, I think. Anyways, let's get some strings on this puppy. Now, folks, I've been thinking about this. I've got this thing tuned one step below normal uh, A440 pitch or close to that and I'm going to leave it there like I say these are 13 to 56 s and that is a mighty heavy string for this little soft guitar you know and I'm afraid yeah I'm gonna let Gary uh, he if he wants to tune it up to pitch I tightened the truss rod before I put the strings on so if I had to adjust it I can loosen it under string tension so the relief is different now. It's not 12 anymore. I'm going to explain all that and tell you why. Uh, I have an 8,000s here. I note the 17th fret. See the the relief is 8,000s now instead of 12. Now under normal circumstances, I could loosen that truss rod under string tension. And make, my, that was stupid, make this relief more. See, that just goes perfectly in there. It is perfect, man. Eight thousandths neck relief. And I'm going to leave it like that. Because, like I say, if Gary has probably got more balls than I have. If he wants to tune this up to standard pitch with those heavy strings on it, it's going to pull more relief into the neck. And it probably will land on a, about... 10, maybe, I'd say it'll land on 12, as soft as the guitar is. We had 18 thousandths nut action up here. See, that's a little bit less now. Let's see what it is. Try uh, 15. 
And the reason it's lower is because I tightened the truss rod, put a little bit more of a back bow in it. Of course, it took that all out when I uh, put these strings on it. And it's not tuned up to pitch yet, but the guitar is soft enough, it did move it. I got 15 thousandths here, and that's what the nut action is now. I think we had that set on eight, 18 thousandths, if I remember right. It's 15 on every string. And I'll hit that one. But it just goes under there and bumps the strings a little bit. It's not raising them or anything. You see how nice that slides under there. Uh, like I say, though, if he puts, if he puts, uh, tunes it up to regular pitch, it's going to put more relief into the neck. It probably will land on around 12, maybe even 14, because this guitar is soft, man. And I just don't want to take that chance. You know, I don't want to buckle this guitar up and ruin the whole thing completely, especially after the work we did to it already. Uh, I, I would recommend him get lighter strings, maybe a 12 to 14, uh, 12 to uh, 54. Would That's what was on it, and that would be a good gauge to keep. The thing, I, p I played it a little bit. It don't sound too bad. So, uh... Yeah, man. I should have just went ahead and did this probably on the last video, but I didn't know how long that video was getting to be. So, anyways, let me uh, play it for you now. Well, it's happening, folks. Blizzard-like conditions at the house. Supposed to get about a foot. We'll see. We will see. This fifth key on the fifth string. I'm just tightening up the buttons on them, checking them all now. But the fifth key on the fifth string here is going to eventually give you trouble. It's going bad fast. I don't think it'll last very long. It feels like the gear inside of there is something's happening to the gear. I try to get oil in there, but I don't know how well it got inside of it. said is very high. This is without the bridge doctor. Before I ever did anything to the guitar. Only thing I've done is tuned it up. Well I tried. comparison because I'm tuned to step down lower than I was in the, the first video of me playing it without the bridge doctor and it's got new strings on it that other one that had terribly old rusty strings on it I think I played something like Thank you. 
neck is uh, really wide on this guitar. Now I've been practicing some and uh, of course I pick up another guitar now and I can't play it because it's so different from what I've been practicing on. But it'll give, you know, give you some idea of what it sounds. It sounds pretty dang good for an Esteban guitar. I guarantee you, I would I'd bet money on this. This is probably the easiest playing uh, chord-wise Esteban guitar in existence. I mean, the thing is, just uh, my hands is all screwed up, as y'all know. But it's easy for me to play compared to you know. I got it as close. I didn't video any of the, uh, but check this out for an Esteban guitar. I got it as close as the guitar will allow me. Now. I think this thing would really boom if I tuned it up, you know, to 440 standard tuning. See, it doesn't discord too bad. The intonation's actually pretty good. All the frets are good. these elixir strings.
show you the uh, I bought this thing out too. check it out man it shined up like a silver dollar it's got some road wear on the back of it a little bit and I got fingerprints all over it now but look how the, it buffed up really nice I mean the entire guitar did and look how flat that belly is baby let me hold it down there where you can I don't know if, if I got it level that you can see it or not but the belly is all gone and check the, check this out look at the action on that the action is right down there man here's the uh, show you the action on the bass side look at that like I say it's probably the easiest playing Esteban guitar known to man <laughs> maybe the best sounding one I'm really shocked that it sounds like this sideways. Esteban lives, Gary. She's all yours, man. Uh, I'm assuming, Gary, you want me to keep this until I get the electric guitar fixed. It's next up. I think it was an airline. I showed it to you in the viewer mail when it came in. That one's next. Uh, I, you probably want me to hang on to this until I get the other one fixed and then just mail them both back to you. That's what we'll do. It'll be cheaper that way. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm really shocked this thing sounds that good and plays this easy to play. Like I say, I would recommend him going down to a 12 and a 54 gauge string instead of these. These are 13 to 56. They're really heavy strings. Impossible to bend. Well, you could bend them, I guess, with it tuned down. definitely out of tune. Like I say, that number five key is getting really bad.
anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed this reviving an Esteban guitar. I had fun working on it. Uh, I say the airline guitar is up next, and that fifth key is going to go bad real soon, Gary. So you might want to look for a key for that, and because uh, it's just the gear just feels really funky in there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video of the airline guitar. Well, maybe something else before then. Who knows? But uh, the airline guitar is the next one up for the chopping block. <laughs>